Hi guys, so today the rock we are going to discuss is carbonatites, which is a type of igneous rock. So let's get started. So carbonates are plutonic igneous rock. Plutonic means the rock which are mostly formed in interior of earth crust rather than at the surface or just below the surface of earth. This plutonic igneous rocks uh, importance is that it is formed under high temperature and pressure condition and carbonate is one such rock and it is found either in intrusive or extrusive igneous rock more than 50 percentage of carbonate minerals are present and carbonatite was introduced by a Norwegian petrographer W. Brueger in 1921 carbonatites are primarily composed of calcite or of igneous origin and silicate minerals are also present. So the important point that you have to keep in mind is that carbonatite are derived from mantle and it contains rare earth elements. Well about the mineralogy, carbonatites are composed of olivine, pyroxene, calcium carbonate and apatite and they range from essentially monomineralic types consisting nearly entirely of calcite or dolomite to varieties in which several rhombohedral carbonates are accompanied by numerous light and dark silicates and by phosphates, sulfates, iron oxide minerals, uh, sulfides, fluorides, NB oxide species, etc. And carbonatite are classed as calcite, sovate and alvikite varieties the two are also distinguished by minor and trace elements. And natrocarbonatite is made up of largely two minerals that is nyriridite and grigoridite. These minerals are both carbonatites in which sodium and potassium are present in significant quantities. In geochemistry basis, carbonatite is composed predominantly of carbonate minerals and extremely unusual in its major element composition as compared to silicate igneous rock because it is composed primarily of Na2O, CaO plus CO2 and it also is dominated by incompatible elements and depletion in compatible elements such as hafirium, zirconium, titanium etc. This together with their silica undersaturated composition supports inferences that carbonates are formed by low degree of partial melting. So about the origin, we know that carbonate rich magma are actually rare in earth and after many experiments, scientists has brought into a conclusion that there may be different ways, mostly three ways in which carbonate types may have formed. They are direct generation by low degree partial melt in the mantle and melt differentiation next is fractional crystallization of carbonate alkaline silica silicate melt and the third one is liquid immiscibility between a carbonate melt and a silicate melt that is liquid immiscibility of other silicates uh, as a classification basis on dominant mineral it is classified as calcite carbonate and dolomite carbonate based on the presence of calcite and dolomite and based on the whole rock analysis it is classified as calcio carbonatite which has uh, almost 80 percentage cao and then magnesio carbonatite that is mgo concentration is greater than feo plus fe2o3 plus mno whole composition then we have ferrocarbonatites where feo and fe2o3 plus mno composition is greater than the mgo composition and then natrocarbonites discussed earlier it is alkali rich and has na k and calcium calcium potassium and sodium now we are uh, diving into the places or where we could find the carbonatite deposits in the world so it is found in United States in places like Magnet Cove, Arkansas, Southeastern Missouri, Westcliff, Colorado, etc. And it is also found in parts of Quebec, Ontario in Canada. And also places like Brazil, Jago Piranga, Sao Paula, Registro Sao Paula and in Greenland, Europe and USSR, Africa are places where we could find deposits of carbonatite rocks. While 
Talking about the Indian occurrence of carbonatite, the first Indian carbonatite has been discovered in Ambadongar area about 23 miles south of Chota Udaipur, Baroda district in Gujarat. And it is also found in Kambam district in Tamil Nadu, some parts of Nivania carbonatite that is in Rajasthan and north of Nagpur along Tapti Rift Valley. Carbonatite has a great economic importance as it consists of rare earth elements phosphorus, nebodium, tantalum, uranium, thorium, copper, iron, titanium, barium, etc. And apatite, barite and vermiculite are among the industrially important minerals associated with some of the carbonatites. The vein deposits of thorium, fluorite or rare earth elements may be associated with carbonatites and may be hosted internal to or with the metasomatized areole of a carbonatite and it is also used uh, as a rock fertilizers as they are made of carbonatite minerals which have higher weathering rate than silicate minerals hope you all understood the basics of carbonatites rock so thank you for watching have a great day